Hey everyone, Ronnie Chavez here, and today I'm at Lowe's Extreme Air Sports to do a tutorial on the Flyaway Regrab. Now before we jump into the tutorial, I wanted to let you know about my new shirt designs. I have this one, as well as this cool Assassin Street Stunts design that's not only on clothes, but on cell phone cases and other cool products, so be sure to click on the link in the description to go check out some of my new designs and products. So the flyaway re-grab. This is an advanced bar trick. Make sure you have a safe environment or doing this over pads because there's a couple risks here. One, doing the flyaway, you can clip the bar you're swinging from. Two, you have a chance of face planting on the bar you're swinging to if you have start out with too much momentum. And three, you can, when you grab the second bar, your hands can peel off and you can fall onto your back. So when learning this, make sure you are over pads so that as you figure it out, you can be safe, and then you can progress from there. The tricks you want to have mastered before you start trying this move is you want to have a solid flyaway down and be able to do a clean flyaway layout as well as do a lache, which is a bar swing release to another bar. I'd recommend being able to do about an eight foot lache to be able to start doing this move. Your bar setup, you want to make sure you have solid bars that they don't move a ton, and the bar distance I would recommend is about the distance between your feet and the length of your arms extended out. You can be within a couple feet of that range, but just know if the bars are closer together, you have more risk of clipping the bars. If they're farther away, it just means you're, it's going to be a harder challenge. So just try and find the balance between safe and doability. Now the first time you start attempting the flyaway re-grab, you want to make sure you have a decent amount of swing. You want what I recommend is about as much swing as your body laid out parallel to the ground with that amount of swing. Now make sure your first flyaway, you're not going crazy, you're not doing a huge amount of momentum to try and get to that bar. Right now you're just doing a basic flyaway tuck and opening just to see where you're at and to see how far away from the bar you are. As you get familiar with that distance, you can start adjusting the timing of your release and your tuck to make sure you're getting closer and closer to the bar where you can reach it with your arms extended. If you're not getting far enough, it probably means you're releasing too late, which means you're probably going too high. If you're going far enough but not getting high enough, it probably means you're releasing too early, so you need to hang on a little bit longer so that swinging momentum sends you upwards. Now that you've gotten comfortable with doing the actual flyaway swinging towards the bar, you want to actually start doing proper technique now as if you're going to actually grab the bar. Now the technique involved in doing the flyaway to a re-grab that I personally like to do is I like to once again get my body parallel to the ground and then with that swing, once my feet hit the bottom of my swing, I'm going to start driving my feet, kicking my feet upwards and then at about 45 degree angle up is when I'm going to start tucking my knees in and driving my feet and knees towards the ceiling roughly in between the two bars I'm in between. Now once I'm almost at my peak in swinging height, not the maximum, just a little bit short of it is when I'm going to start letting go so that I have the height and still a little bit of momentum to get distance. With my arms, I'm also tugging a little bit just to get a little extra pull like you do with laches to throw yourself a little bit farther. I'm also doing that with the flyaway. Now after I've driven my knees, this is where everything happens really fast. I drive my knees, once I release, rotate really fast and then open up again really quickly so that I can Re look up with my head so I can spot the bar and reach out with my arms. Make sure that you're spotting for the bar. For the longest time I had trouble spotting the bar because of a close encounter I had with almost face planting on a second bar because I had too much momentum and then ever since then I've always kept my head tucked in trying to do flyaway re-grabs and I could never get them until I just decided to trust myself and look with my head up to spot that bar and reach for it, then it became a lot easier to grab the bar. Just make sure that you're not starting off with too much momentum so you don't have that risk of face planting into the bar. I personally, when I'm reaching for the bar, I like to aim just below my palm because that gives me enough room so that when I hit the bar, I have enough time to get a really solid grab and friction on the bar to hold myself onto it. If I'm hitting any higher up, I have more risk of it going to my fingers and then peeling off of my fingers. So I like to make sure I have a good reach on the bar when I grab it, because that's how I'm gonna have the most power in my grip. So that's how you do the flyway re-grab, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. And once again, check out my t-shirts, check out the new designs I have on my website. Let me know in the comments if you have any other requests for bar trick tutorials. So that's everything today. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.